Welcome to our lesson on evaluating the limits of accuracy within calculations. So here we have a rectangle where we're told that the lengths have been given correct to one decimal place. And we've been asked to work out the limits of accuracy for the perimeter and the area of a rectangle. So to begin to work out the limits of accuracy, we need to find the lower bound and the upper bound of each measurement. And we'll start with the 3.2 meters. The lower bound will be 3.15 meters, because if it was any lower than this, for instance, 1.49 meters, the four hundredths would not round the one tenth to a two. So the lower bound is 3.15 meters. And the upper bound is less than 3.25 meters, because if it was equal to 3.25, the five hundredths would round the two tenths to a three. So we have our lower bound and our upper bound. Do you want to try and work out the lower and upper bound for the 2.5 meters? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. The lower bound will be 2.45. Again, if it was any lower, for instance, 4.49 recurring, the four hundredths would not round the four tenths to a five. So this is our lower bound. And the upper bound is less than 2.55 meters. If it was equal to 2.55, the 5 hundredths would round the 5 tenths to a 6. So now we have our upper and our lower bound. So now we know the minimum and the maximum each length could possibly be. I'm going to draw two separate rectangles to find their perimeters. To work out our minimum perimeter, I'm going to use the lower bound of 3.15 and the lower bound of 2.45 and this gives a perimeter of 11.2 meters and for the maximum perimeter I'll use the upper bounds which is less than 3.25 and less than 2.55 and this gives a maximum perimeter of 11.6 meters but it has to be less than that. We can use these perimeters to write the limits of accuracy, where we know the perimeter has to be less than our maximum, which is 11.6, but greater than or equal to our minimum, which is 11.2. And this is in meters. Do you want to try and work out the limits of accuracy for the area of our rectangle? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Our minimum area will be the product of the two lower bound lengths, which is 7.7175 meters squared. And the maximum area will be a product of the two upper bounds, which is 8.2875 meters squared. So this gives us a limits of accuracy for the area where it has to be less than our upper bound, but greater than or equal to our lower bound. Okay, let's try another question. In this question, we've been given the length of a cuboid correct to two significant figures. Do you want to try and work out the limits of accuracy for the volume of a cuboid? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. To work out our minimum volume, I'm going to use the lower bound of each measurement. So we have a depth of 1.45 meters, a length of 4.45, and a height of 1.45. To work out the volume, I'll find the area of a cross-section and I'll multiply it by the depth. And this gives a minimum volume of 9.356125 meters cubed. And for our maximum volume, we'll use the upper bound of the three measurements. So we have less than 1.55, less than 4.55 and less than, again, 1.55 and similar to the minimum we'll work out the area of a cross section we'll multiply it by the depth and this will give us a volume of 10.931375 meters cubed so our limits of accuracy for the volume we know it has to be less than a maximum or greater than and equal to the minimum okay let's try one more question in our final question, we've been asked to work out the minimum width of a rectangle. 
where the area is 30.4 measured to one decimal place and the length is 4.62 measured correct to three significant figures. Do you want to try and find the minimum width for yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So before we begin, we need to understand that the area is a product of the length and the width. And to work out the width, we need to divide both sides by the length. And these will cancel. To work out the minimum width, we need the minimum area divided by the maximum length. And this will give us the smallest possible width. The minimum area, 30.35 centimetres squared. And the maximum length is 4.625 centimetres. This gives us a minimum possible width of 6.56216 centimetres. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.